Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are talking about Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 6. Oh my word, can you believe after this we will have been doing this for three years. Who knew? We thought we'd just do it for a year. Um, <laughs> as we've, I've mentioned before, we will keep on at it until we run out of ideas. So, um, yeah, we do seem to evolve so... If, I don't know if we'll run out of ideas, but you never know, we might. Um, we'll have to ask you guys if we start running out of ideas. Anyway, so you will have, you need, if, you, if you're watching this first, you need to stop the video and go and watch Sarah's because she is talking to you about the project, how it's going to work. So you need to go and watch Sarah. I'm not talking about how the project's going to work. I'm telling you the format of the project and it is going to be an accordion book style project so accordion it's going to be accordion so it's going to be folded like an accordion i've got a gluey piece of paper here so this is accordion when you fold that one that way that one that way and then you can pull it out in an accordion style so that's the format um, our thoughts were between um, the accordion can be attached on the bottom and the top to two hard book covers if you like to that's what we're tending towards um, you may choose to do a soft cover if you want to or covered piece of cardboard to stiffen it um, but yeah accordion so it's pulling out like that okay so that is the format for this pro this project so it's something that's going to be something lovely to have on a coffee table or you know it's a it's, it's a just because project really for you to enjoy looking at it so Sarah will have mentioned about our inspiration came from, mine's in Italian because I'm giving mum my English version. This is a new printout um, in Italian, which is fine, um, of her book. And this is where the inspiration is coming from. Now, I don't know if Sarah will have mentioned it, but if you uh, don't have Edith Holden's book, I think that you can probably find a lot of images on Pinterest. So you could create a board for yourself on Pinterest um, and of Edith Holden and anything else that's similar that inspires you for this project and, and you'll be fine. You don't need to necessarily, don't go, have to, you don't have to go out and buy the book. So um, my other thing that I got for mum and I got one for me, not that I probably will use it was the coloring in book now that's it wasn't overly expensive oh it's 16 pounds 99 i think i paid 19 euro for it i'm not saying you have to go and buy it but it's her book in coloring in form i think that's quite nice too for anyone who's um not confident with drawing you might you know trace the flowers and then embroider them um you might want to trace which i might want to too is maybe her her writing that like the month maybe I want to trace that and um, or you get the outline of birds I did think that that was a cool thing um, mum's not mum's actually really good at drawing but she thinks she's not but um, she said oh yes I would love to have the coloring in books so that is available on Amazon um, and anyone who wants to buy that you don't have to have it but I just thought it was a good resource and considering my books in Italian I've got it all writing if I want to maybe do um, you know, one of Edith's, Edith's um, quotes or something. I might choose a phrase from here and I might want to embroider that. I have it in English now and I don't have to do it in Italian. Another book that I um, think is lovely. I don't know if these are still available. I've had these for quite a long time. Um, this is Katie Daisy. She's on Instagram as well, I think. And this is the Wild, Wildflower Workbook. It's just, look at that. Isn't that lovely? It's just, they're just the most lovely books. She's a beautiful illustrator. And I think that this could be wildly <laughs> inspiring for embroidery. So, um, yeah, I just thought that's a really nice book and something joyful to look at as well. And then this also is How to Be a Wildflower. That was the first one I bought. Someone gifted that to me as well. I think my friend Carla gave it to me. And I had already bought it. I didn't tell her. So I'm going to send one to my sister. I told my sister I would send it to her because it's very her. This one may be a little bit less. No, look look at that. How beautiful is that? That could be... You could take inspiration from that for a title page. I'm not saying copy it, but you could certainly 
take inspiration and do a title page if you wanted to sort of thing so i think these are lovely lovely books by katie daisy um, as i said i do not know if they are still available because um, i've had them for many years but i wanted to show you those and then in the past when we did our down the um, garden path i didn't pull those books out it's a bit hard for me to pull them out now um, some of those japanese books by aoki what's her name i'll show you those later on i'll probably pull those out um later on um as we get into the project and the other one is jennifer clouston i hope i pronounced your name correctly jennifer she does amazing um floral embroidery and has lovely books that some of you have bought because i've shared it in the down the down the garden path i think um and just lots of flowers that you could use from her book to do um this project now what kind of things would you gather well the usual guys gather your linens if you have old hemp or old hand towels um you know, floral fabrics i've just i just randomly grabbed a few things like especially floral fabrics too that you can thread paint with like these are very stylized and very very nice too and you see I could, i've already cut one out and put that on something and um so yeah any kind of floral sort of fabrics i mean that 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 to me is a, a low low volume sort of one i would probably might put a bit of that in the background um anything you know laces appliques i don't know that was just in the pile just chuck that over there these kind of things linens anything anything goes whatever you like um this is a hemp with a little monogram on it these sorts of things that's got a stain on it but like things with lacy bits on the edge um i love using this sort of stuff Oh, and I'm going to be using my um, ephemera, my yeah, my ephemera pack. So the scripty doos, and and I have one here that I had put aside for someone, but she was waiting for the linen to come in, so I haven't sent it. Um, and you know, I've got butterflies and flowers, and I would fussy cut those and then embroider bits of them, that sort of stuff, as well. I might, I may or may not use. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a clear idea what I'm doing in this project yet. Um, if we just know what the theme is but I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not going to say the theme now because um, you need to watch Sarah's video first and she's the one announcing it so um, and also I might use some of my fabrics guys I may use some of those I don't know um, this is not this is the the fabric that's really stiff that I wasn't so happy with um, I've still got those so um, I'm using those in the spine of books actually um but yeah just to show you that so that yeah really just gra gather the normal things like you might want some all, all different types of threads so i'll use anything goes for me i might use um even fingers you know uh, fingering sock fingering what do you call it you know when you do the socks with the four ply hand dyed wools i like to use cruel wool i like to use um the six stranded dmc perle um any thread goes as long as it will go through the fabric i will use it so and your laces and then your different fabrics to collage in the background so i'll have some pattern fabrics and a lot of planar fabrics because i want the look of mine to be um more neutral in the background neutral in the background and then i'm going to add things to it and then and then you might have little bits and pieces of fabric and then also things for thread painting as well so i think that's everything i had to say um i think yes sarah was oh my gosh now i'm getting confused yeah i think sarah's saying how it's working and i am um talking about everything else i will i'll just reiterate just in case um i've gotten confused um sarah's yeah i think i've said everything but anyway she will have told you the prompts are going to be every two weeks and it's going to be three for every season there we go so pop over first if you didn't watch sarah's video first you needed to because you don't know what i'm talking about um i'm just telling you the format again i'll just repeat it's accordion style so um i'll grab this so just say i'm doing an accordion you, you know when you do your folds in backwards and forwards like that that is accordion and then you're going to just say that will be attached to something and then it pulls up like that and it comes out so to be a continuous spread sort of thing 
and as I said, attach between um, two hard covers or some sort of something stiff. I'm going to do mine with a twist, but I will reveal that. I need to work it out. I will reveal that when we start, and we will be starting in the first Wednesday of July. So I'm super excited, and I hope you are too. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye.